Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn about the state machine design pattern. As you can see, we have the state diagram, which has four states, start, process 1, process 2, and stop. So, we'll start building the state machine. First of all, we'll record the enum constant, which will contain the different states. So we'll add item after process 1 and then after that process 2 and the final state stop. Now for this step machine we require the while loop and a Sieve register to contain the value of the previous state and we'll need the sieve register to switch between different states as we connect that one uh, the case in the state has been changed so we have the start default and then the process one So start one, start will contain and process one. In this example, all the all the states are empty, but in the actual application development, they contain different functions and different uh, operations that has to be performed within specific states. So process one will go to the process two, and in process two. Now we'll duplicate the cases because we don't have any more cases in the case structure. So now we have the four states, as you can see. So in the process two, what we'll do is we'll include a Boolean stop button, which will help us to uh, stop going to the stop state. Uh, if the button is in false condition, that means will remain in the process two, otherwise we'll go into the stop state. So delete that var and then add select vi. Uh, note that the select vi is a simple if if else statement. So if stop is on, we'll go to the stop. If stop is false will remain in the process too. So let's change the values in the respective enum constant. So process two, so if it is true that will it will go into the stop state. Now let's modify the stop finally. We'll remain in the stop because there are no other states after that. Next we'll add the stop uh, connect the true constant to the boolean stop so that when we'll reach the stop state it will stop so let's check it so as we can see first of all the start state and then the process one has ran and then the process two is running at the moment since the value of the boolean button is false we'll be running in the to the process to continuously and when we press stop, we'll go into the stop button. Now let's change that to 1000. And let's display which state we are currently running. So now if we'll press run, as you can see, the different states has been displayed continuously. So when you press the stop, it will go to the stop state. 